Grunfeld defense, Russian, burn variation, 8.b2. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. QB3 develops the queen and defends the attack c4 pawn. DX c4 captures the pawn, releasing central tension and opening up the d-file. QX c4 recaptures the c4 pawn and centralizes the queen. BG7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. E4 gains space in the center, allows the light squared bishop to develop, and controls the squares d5 and f5. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This protects the attacked pawn. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to win a pawn. This kicks an opposing knight. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Takes back. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is the last book move. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a queen. It is a mistake. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. 
This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is excellent. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is excellent. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This misses a better way to move a rook to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a queen. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.